From chemical technician and nightclub bouncer, it has been an unlikely ascension for Jorge Mario Bigoglio in the highest position within the 1.2 billion strong Catholic Church. Now he is known primarily as Pope Francis. Bergoglio was formerly the Archbishop of Buenos Aires before being made a cardinal by Pope John Paul II. He was not expected to become the pontiff, given his Jesuit background. Nonetheless, following the surprise resignation of Benedict XVI, Bergoglio was elected in the fifth ballot. He became the first Jesuit pope as well as the first pope from the Southern Hemisphere. After being pushed by his friend and Brazilian Archbishop Claudio Umes to prioritize the poor, Bergoglio chose the name after Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of animals and the environment. Francis said at the time that he wanted a church that is poor and for the poor. Umes, an advocate for the oppressed and a critic of capitalism, may have contributed to Francis' transformation. Pope Francis was not previously considered to be a reformer, let alone a progressive. However, quickly he began to raise eyebrows over his bold statements on social issues. This included showing openness to challenge some of the conservative social doctrines pushed for by his predecessors. The Catholic leader has opened discussion on issues including the ordaining of married men, celibacy of priests, and the use of contraception. He has also opened investigations into allegations of corruption in the Vatican Bank, as well as into child abuse by clergy. Pope Francis has been outspoken not only on issues of inequality and solidarity with the poor, but he has also been critical of the economic structures and policies that generate wealth disparity and even war. He has hosted meetings with progressive social movements on these matters. However, on some matters including abortion, gay marriage, and the ordaining of women, Pope Francis has held the line on Catholic doctrine. He has actively advocated against these measures, albeit less enthusiastically than other popes. The Argentine pontiff has undoubtedly left his mark on Latin America, not only because he is the first pope from the region, but also through his role in brokering new relations between Cuba and the United States. Cuban President Raul Castro cited Pope Francis as a contributor in the restoration process between the two countries. Hemos acordado el restablecimiento de las relaciones diplomáticas. Francis is also known for his canonization of Latin American figures, including Salvadoran Archbishop Oscar Romero. The Pope is making his first multi-country visit to Latin America just days after publishing his first encyclical, a statement of doctrine calling for radical action on climate change and poverty. He directed it not only at Catholics, but in his words, at humanity as a whole. Pope Francis will begin his trip in Ecuador. He will then go to Bolivia before wrapping up the week-long tour in Paraguay.